but frightened. Suddenly I'm not shy. Love can be conversation, bringing us close together, helping us find each other. Hey, Ned. Have some juice? No. Hey, superwoman, relax. The boss is rich enough. The more shirts you finish, the more money you make. When are you gonna get that through your head, Yolanda? I tell you what I got through my head. It's nice to finish the job, but it's more important that the job don't finish you. That's easy for you to say. Your kids are grown up. I still got a lease here to think about. Jessica, this is Alicia Marin, my friend from high school. Right. Hello, Alicia. Hi. You certainly have a loyal fan in Steve. <laughs> what are you going to sing for us today? Um, it's called My City Song. The boys on the corner talking. They whistle as I pass through. But I don't look, I keep on walking On my block, that's what nice girls do But in my heart, I know they're so shy That's why they come on so strong And I sing la 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 le lo My city song the Rumble of a subway passing by Green banana man, you hear his cry Pigeons on the roof, too fast to fly I can hear the music find it? I wrote it. You write many songs? A few here and there. She's written lots of them. Dozens. Well, you'll have a chance to sing them here. Have an opening for five nights a week. Does that sound good to you? Sounds great. <laughs> The greatest thing just happened to me. Never mind. I have some good news, too, for a change. What? I told my boss about you. I walked up to him just like that. And tomorrow morning, you got an interview for the bookkeeping job. But, Mama, I already have a job. What? Mama, I'm going to be a singer. A singer? Steve got me an audition at a coffee house. It's called Jessica's. I have to wait on tables, but I get to sing all my songs, and you never know who'll be in the audience. I wish that Steve would stop putting ideas in your head. Mama, I wanted to audition. You listen to me. Steve's father, he's a rich lawyer. His son can afford to waste time with some coffee house job. You have to think about your future. But I am. Lots of important people go there. Agents, producers, I may even get a record contract. I tell you what, next phone bill we get, instead of making out a money order, I'll send you down to the telephone company and you sing them your songs and we'll see how far that gets us. Daddy would have never said that. He used to tell me I had a pretty voice. You do have a pretty voice, Nena. But so do a lot of other people. And how many of them can make a living with their singing? One in a million, maybe? It's 
So you got to think sensible. Hasn't been easy for us, especially since your papa died. What I make doesn't go very far. I know, Ma. It was very hard for me to go talk to Mr. Miller. This is a very big favor he's doing. You'll be a bookkeeper. And next year, when you get out of high school with no experience, you think it's going to be easy to find a good job? I'm not saying you have to stay with Mr. Miller forever. But I better start than this. You are not going to find. So use your head, Nena. Never mind the coffee house. Hmm? So tell me, Ms. Marin, uh, how long have you had this burning desire to be a bookkeeper? Well, I always enjoyed working with figures. That's good to hear. I've made it an unofficial company policy. Employ only those who enjoy. So why did you have to score so high on that math test? Couldn't you chew bubble gum through the interview? Or twitch a lot? I couldn't mess up on purpose, Steve. My mother would kill me. Besides, it's not that I mind the bookkeeping job. And we really could use the money. It's just that I don't want to give up the coffee house. You can do both jobs. After all, the hours don't conflict. She'd never let me. Why not? Just approach her rationally. Look, see, that might work with your mother, but mine hasn't spent six years in therapy. I'm sorry. It's just that rational approaches get me nowhere. All right. I'll ask her. The answer is still no. Nah, it's too much. We'll be tired all the time. It's only for the summer. At the coffee house, it's not really like a job. It's more like fun. Yes, lots of fun. So you get to sing a song once in a while. The rest, you're standing on your feet, taking people's orders, with the men saying fresh things to you. Maybe you should pay them for the privilege. It's a very respectable place in a good neighborhood. And Steve said he'd take me home every night. Yeah, I still don't like it. Mama, with the money I make at the coffee house, I can cover all my expenses. My clothes, my allowance next term. And that means you can keep all of my bookkeeping salary. Nina, that's very nice. But I know you're behind on bills. And with the extra money, you can afford to buy that new couch you wanted. And maybe even visit Grandma. You were always saying you want to see her one more time before she dies. Nina, when you try to do too much, you end up doing nothing right. If it's too much for me, I'll give up the coffee house, I promise you. You come in one minute past midnight, and that's the end of the job. <laughs> Thank you, Mama. It'll work out, you'll see. I know I can do it. Sure you can. You don't know what it's like to hold down one job, so of course you think you can handle two. Tommy, when I go meet you for lunch, how do I get to your work now? You eat your lunch in your office. I don't want you to ever come to the factory section. Why not? It's not a good idea, that's all. Would you stop? <laughs> now you do everything Mrs. Paris tells you. And I'm sure you'll be okay. <laughs> Goodbye, Miss Yellow. Take care. I'll see you. I'll be fine. <laughs> Then every morning, check again to make sure there are no outstanding vouchers. Okay, Mrs. Cavaris. Now stop me if I'm going too fast. Well, each voucher lists the item's unit price plus the number of units completed for the day, which I multiply and then write next to the employee's social security number. In this case, it's uh, 425 pieces at 8 cents each. That's $34. Hmm. Nice to have a live one around for a change. <laughs> A 
Lisa, I'm sorry I kept you so late. It couldn't be helped. I understand. This is it, kid. You're on Now, hand. ladies and gentlemen, I want to bring up Alicia Marin, a very talented young lady who writes and sings her own songs. So I want you to give a very warm welcome to Alicia Marin. the way you keep your promise to me? I'm sorry, Mama. There was a mix-up and I didn't get to sing till late. The audience really liked me, Ma. They kept applauding and Jessica kept signaling me to sing more songs. Because they like you? That makes it all right to stay out half the night, huh? I'm going on earlier from now on, so this won't happen again. I promise, Ma. Mr. Miller. Maybe he doesn't give you applause, but he gives you something better, a good paycheck. Only you have to be awake to earn it. I'll be awake, Ma. Don't worry. We'll see. But I tell you right now, Alicia, you come in late one more time, and you can forget about the coffee house for good. <laughs> This is the fourth day in a row. You don't even hear the alarm. Excuse me, Nez. Could I see you in my office for a moment, please? Now? Yeah. Mr. 
Miller, this is so generous of you. I, I don't know how to thank you. Of course, you can't expect Miller and Sons to pay for Alicia's education without reasonably expecting to reap the benefits of it. Oh, no, of course not. Your daughter has a great deal of potential, Inez. Unfortunately, Alicia is so involved with her music, she can't keep her mind on my payroll. I know she likes the job here very much. I'm making an investment in your daughter. I need to know she won't change her mind midstream. The people who succeed in life, it's not because they're smarter, but because they make choices and stick to them. <laughs> How come it could be the circuit that you're such a good dancer? Maybe because it's the first time in years I've had something to dance about, Uncle Paco. Eh? Ah. <laughs> 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 Alicia, mi cielo. Come on, Fernando. Oh. <laughs> Congratulations. Come, Nina, give your old Uncle Paco a kiss. <laughs> <laughs> What's going on? Yo, you make your mama so happy. She give a party for you? <laughs> Ma? Oh. Yes, Mr. Miller wants to send you to college. How do you like that? First, you work part-time at the place in September, and then you take night classes accounting at Baru College. It's a special program they have for high school seniors who are good in math. Then, after you graduate, Mr. Miller will pay for you to go to college. <laughs> he told me this afternoon, Oh, the first person in our family to go to college. Here, have a piece of cake. You're gonna need your strength. Of course, the first thing he wants you to do is forget about the music and the coffee house. Mr. Miller said that? Sure. He wants you there steady, not any minute. You're gonna run off and be a singer. I don't want to do it, Ma. What? I said... I don't want to do it. Alicia, you think a break like this comes along every day? Tonight, a producer asked me to audition for a musical off, off Broadway. And for an audition, you're going to give up a permanent job and a chance to go to college? But I don't need Mr. Miller to send me to college. I told you I'm going to be a singer. You're crazy. She's crazy. I'm not crazy. You think because you sing in a coffee house, you're going to become a star? You have your head in your clouds, young lady, just like a father. Hey, Ananda, leave her alone. You mind your own business. You never had no common sense, neither. Why can't she become a singer? You think music is only for the rich people? I don't want to give up my music, Mommy. Can't you understand? You're going to mess up your life. Look, just because you don't think I'm talented doesn't mean everybody else agrees with you. A once-in-a-lifetime offer. Anybody else would be grateful. Well, I'm not. I don't want to work for Mr. Milton. I'm an old lady. I don't want my life to be a, to be a dead end. <laughs> Yeah, what do you want? I'd like to speak with Mrs. Marin. There's no Mrs. Marin here. Yes, there is. She's worked here for 10 years. Honey, we're the foreman. We know who works here and not, huh? Ines Marin, she's an operator. Oh, Ines, one of our girls. Why don't you say so in the first place? What do you want with her? I'd like to talk with her. Sorry. No one's allowed on the floor during working hours. Wait, 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 wait a minute. Is it important, kid? Harry, let her in. Inez is a good girl. She's not a troublemaker like the others. Go ahead and get, get the order out, huh? Right. 
I don't stand a chance. What happened? I'm better off facing facts now. Marin. I made a complete fool of myself. Oh, come on. You don't believe me? They shove this music at me. They give me 30 seconds to learn it. The minute I open my mouth, the musical director tells me to move it down a fifth. Then he tells me to change the time signature. I didn't even understand what they were talking about. So you can't transpose on the spot. Big oh, deal. the other girls could. They had beautiful, trained voices. Much better than mine. Oh, great. One little setback, and you're ready to call it quits. Well, I'd like to see how brave you'd be without your father's money to fall back on. Hey, I admit my family's better off. Oh, well, that's big of you. My mother is 40 years old, and the foreman still calls her a girl. It's 120 degrees where she works. She's been over that machine all day, and she brings home almost nothing. OK, so she's got a raw deal. Well, you better believe it. I saw her on the job today for the first time. I never knew it was like that. I never knew what she was so afraid of, why it was so important for her that my life be different. Listen. I made up my mind, Steve. I'm going to take Mr. Miller's offer. Well, since I'm giving up music, I'd have to quit in September anyway. I mean, there's just no point. I thought you were going to make a career of music, go to school, get some training. Jessica, my mother can't afford to send me to music school. If your music were important to you, you'd figure out a way to pay for your training. Oh, you don't understand. My mother is dead set against my being a singer. Anytime I daydream, you know, about being famous. she told tell me to get my head out of the clouds. There's a middle ground somewhere. You might never be a superstar, but you might be able to earn a living through your music. Imagine what you could accomplish if you study. But where could I go? City College is the one place. They all have a music program, and tuition isn't high. Why don't you investigate it and see what they have to offer? I don't know. I just don't think it'll work out. You know what I've discovered with time, Alicia? People come to terms with gambles that didn't work out. The things they regret are the risks they didn't take. I want you to know I'm not just a dreamer, like you said Daddy was. Don't get me wrong, he always meant good. I know. It was very hard for him. He saw everybody else getting ahead, and he think to himself, why not me? But like you said, wishing for things isn't going to make them happen. So I have this plan. Another plan? I'm going to apply to a city college, but to major in music, not in accounting. They have good programs, Mom. I check them out. But where will you get the money, Alicia? The tuition is low, and I worked it out with Jessica and Mr. Miller. Between my part-time job at the factory and working at the coffee house on weekends, I'll get by. Just have to cut a few corners, that's all. Get by. Cut a few corners. Not the life I want for you. It's not forever, Ma. How can I make you understand? People don't have children, so they can say no to them. When you were a little baby, in the morning, you never cried. Instead, you always woke up singing. <coughs> Papa and me, well, we couldn't get over it. I would like nothing better than to say to you, Alicia, sing. But what I learned from life, the only thing I can say to you with a clear conscience is, Nina, you got to be practical. But I am being practical. With a college degree, if I can't get jobs singing, I can always teach. Okay, maybe. But what happens 20 years from now when you think to yourself, 
I gave everything. And for what? I don't want you to know what it's like to feel cheated. Sometimes at school, I get jealous of the kids who have fathers. You know, who have things easier. But when I play my music, I wouldn't trade places with anybody. I'm not saying that my songs are great or anything, but I'm the only one who can write them. So I have to go on with my music, Mama, no matter how you feel. But it would mean a lot to me if you could be on my side. I'm really very happy to bring on our next singer. She's been away from us for a while, but she's back with us now, and I know you're going to love her. Please welcome singer and songwriter Alicia Marin. Come true for you. 